Hi there, and welcome back to Daily Bible Promises with a Twist, and today, as usual, I'll be reading from the New International Version, just one verse, and this is a partial verse, Psalm 25, verse 9, He guides the humble in what is right. So let's read the complete verse and a couple of verses that precede it, so we can get an overall picture of what David is saying in this psalm, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation, chapter 25, verse 8 to 10. The Lord is good and does what is right. He shows a proper path to those who go astray. He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. There's a few places in this particular psalm where David asks the Lord to show him the right path. And throughout this poem, coincidentally, David expresses himself in a very humble and transparent way. I think there's a connection there. In verse 9, David says, He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. Or in the NIV version, it says, He guides the humble in what is right. Imagine if you put your life into the hands of a skilled mountain guide. You paid that guide a lot of money to lead you safely up that mountain. Now imagine you totally ignore everything he has to say to you because you think you know more than the guide does. It wouldn't go very well for you if you were climbing Mount Everest for the first time. A humble heart is a basic requirement for us to hear the voice of the Lord when we are praying for guidance and direction. The next requirement is an obedient spirit, meaning we obey and take to heart the advice that he might be giving us. I know that probably sounds extremely simple and very basic, but walking out our lives in humility and acknowledging that we don't always know the right thing and we aren't the ones in charge, sometimes that can be a hard pill to swallow. But it's an easier pill to swallow as the old song goes, just a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. When we realize how much God loves us and how good his intentions are towards us, then it won't be too hard for us to follow his directions.